And here I thought the crossbow wasn't good for anything. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to World's Best Clip of the Week. I'm your host, Stone Mountain 64. And from last week's episode, the hotel spot took home the win with this beyond all odds 20 kill win clutch unfortunately youtube is officially removing polls from the cards which means we're gonna have to go back to voting in the comment section down below every monday we feature the best clips sent in from around the world for you the audience to vote on which is the best so comment alpha bravo charlie whichever clip is your favorite and make sure you subscribe to find out who wins in next week's episode as well as to catch all the latest these are featured in a random order, so without further ado, let's jump it into the mic spot. AX50 or C4? <laughs> Down another. Uh... Down two. God, we're good. They're all dead. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about recording right there, baby. Why not both double kill with the sniper and then look at this quad? All four of the bodies falling down out of the sky. Beautiful. Coming in for the Lima spot, coming back from the Gulag. I ended on top of the building and already has high threat. And this team thinks they could take down the pistol. Oh, and if you were hoping it ended there like I did, you're sorely mistaken. More people keep coming up, and after their teammate goes down, keep on coming up! To be fair, this tower is absolute crap because there's no other way up it. But come on, after the first guy goes, the other one commits to it, he got a full four-man team wipe on people individually coming up. I've never seen anything like this. Do people do this? Cut your losses, move on to another building, and Call of Duty, make another way up on this building! Or put some windows in so we can bullet pen, maybe make it so airstrikes can be effective on people sitting up here, something so we can clear this out. Regardless with just a pistol and a bounty on them, this man is making a comeback. Still eight people in this zone, but there is not about to be a lot of space left. What a clutch! Look how hard it was to see him in the bushes, especially with that all-black skin and the green as well! This is one of the few bushes in the game that you can even go in, right next to the buy station in the southeast corner of the map. You've got to be careful of this spot, and if you're there, use it to your advantage. Shoot through it! As he finds the hit markers, continuing to shoot, gets a knockdown on it, ends the game with 19 kills, killing everyone in the end zone. Coming in for the Juliet spot. Last up for his team, but still three total teams in this game.
Holy 19 kills. He kills everybody at the end. This last man armoring up outside of the zone with him there. No fear running through the zone for the reposition. Enemy chasing behind them, trying to go quiet, but catches him on the approach, finishing off the rest of his team and calling it a dub. Coming in for the India spot. Bounty acquired, and he's got eyes. Contact. Now that is an easy bounty. All four of them, not only on top of the stadium, which is completely exposed, but prone on it. Not a fear in the world when the teammate gets knocked out. This is absurd. And coming up in the hotel spot, Manship. Back on this deadly tower, but makes his way up without them knowing. And this man is a trained assassin, getting the final kill animation as well. Starts with a knife, uses the remaining ammo he has on the second, one bullet left, so he goes for the stun to melee. Coming in for the gulf spot. Teammates knocked, final zone about to start closing in. Tango spotted. And I think his team was just testing him to see how many times he could get a revive and still get the win. He got so many revives. And then look at this final kill. It looks like he gets knocked out, almost finished. But if you look at the feed, he got that final kill. His teammate shooting next to him, so what I'm thinking is his last bullet actually traded with the enemy. And while his teammate did damage, he got that final bullet to hit and win it. But regardless, an incredible win. And coming in for the five shot spot, we're not done with that crossbow. Finish the job. I'm sorry, what? It was a two versus three situation. This man hits three for three on his crossbow shots, and look at the lead he puts on this. They're very slow traveling, but with the explosive bolt, when he gets the hit, they are guaranteed knocks. Even hitting him in the foot blows up to get the knockdown. And the last shot, perfect headshot. Squad wipe for a team win. And finally coming in for the echo spot. Three teams still somehow alive in this zone. Everybody was looking up, trying to deal with that helicopter. These guys on either side of the wall. But he runs through the gas on the outside. The flank triple kills him out and is the last sole survivor. And I know you guys like these end games. So coming in for the Delta spot, this team finally forced off the high roof right into Dynamo's hands. Maybe they can get on top of you. Get RPG. 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 Yes. Yes. We've got this. Truck in the left hand side. Run through there. How I just saw the hanging. Oh, yeah. Kev, go to the corner. Jump on there. Jump on there. And then there was. Okay, last one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
He came back with nothing there. Just the burst assault rifle. This guy didn't realize he was on the roof. Got the kills. Pick up on the RPG and somehow, even with all the RPG clips we featured on this, this thing still has incredible damage against players. You can carry way too many rockets and this man clutches out the game with a rooftop rocket rain. Coming back from nothing, that is an incredibly effective way to get it done and clutch it out for the squad. Coming in for the Charlie spot, Omar's teammates knocked out as he's right in the edge of zone, final one closing. How many people? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is he? Look at that, the decision to push onto the other side through the gas, playing aggressive, allowed him to get so many kills there. Enemies running out of the building, not looking both ways, until down to the last, runs back around just enough time on his gas mask to make it out and clutch the entire game. Coming in for the Bravo spot, coming back from the Gulag team in trouble. <laughs> And while he was unable to save him, a quad kill for just getting in a vehicle? Oof. But you want to talk oofs coming in for the alpha spot. Going this way. This team was kitted with their loadout, self res UAVs, and one man with a helicopter <laughs> blows them up and somehow manages to kill him with his M4. They need some new loadouts. It's time for you to vote using the comments down below. Put the title of your favorite clip. Give it a like while you're down there. Links to the players in the description as well as you can send in your own clips. Check out my second channel, as well as come stop by my streams where we can talk clips and Warzone daily. That's for this one, though. Thank you so much for watching. This is Stonemount64. Over and out.